My name is Naomi Frears and I work across film, but I also have a studio practice which includes painting, drawing and printmaking. I've been living and working in St Ives since uh, 1989. The studio I work in was previously occupied by lots of great people, including Francis Bacon. And uh, I think some people would feel the heavy weight of that, that where you're working, your, the patterns that you make every day in the studio might be similar to the patterns made by other artists. But I feel like that builds up into a kind of pattern of interesting history. I'm just part of it. In 50 years time, there'll be somebody else working in there. And I also think that the studios themselves, which are very historic and very beautiful, kind of represent the beating heart of St Ives. I think people think of St Ives as being a place where the tourists love to go, which of course is true because it's very beautiful. And they forget there's a real community living there and that the, re the real community includes artists and fishermen and all sorts of other people. But that building incorporates all that. So it is, it is like the heart of St Ives in a way, for me. When I was first invited to make work for RAM, it was a very exciting thing. And of course, with something like a million objects, your mind is completely boggled by how much stuff there is and how much of that stuff is interesting. And I knew that I was interested in sleeves you know, have been interested in sleeves for a long time. And so I asked Lara Goodband, the curator who was working with me, if we could go and have a look at sleeves. So we went to the stores and had a look. And as you can see, these places where all the objects are kept are really beautiful places, kind of secret behind the scenes. So the whole thing is very compelling. And I just thought, well, how can I work with sleeves? I have this scary, but very beautiful uh, mannequin, like a tailor's dummy that's in my studio. I took the sleeves off a shirt and put them onto the mannequin and thought, I wonder if I can make the mannequin move and, and like it's using its arms, and then wonder what those arms are saying, what's, what's happening. It was a sort of experiment, and I used stop motion, which I'd never used before to make a film. And by moving the arms just a little bit, and then looking at the films when I got them home, looked like they were starting to converse with you, with me, you know, with the person viewing. And so then I thought, okay, now it's a question of translation. Now I have to translate what the mannequin is saying. It's as if you're standing opposite a person. Now the person doesn't appear to have a gender or an ethnicity particularly. And uh, because this mannequin has this way of looking human without being human. Um, but I think once the, once the mannequin is moving, it feels like it is actually talking to you. To accompany the new work, there is going to be a piece of writing by my daughter, who's called Ella Frears, and she's a poet, and she is writing a piece of work which will describe the work, or describe my process maybe, in making the work, and it will link this show in RAM to my show that's happening at the same time in the Phoenix Gallery. I expect people will feel engaged, and as if there's this strange being communicating with them. And because it's not just head and shoulders, like we've all been on Zoom so much, um, I feel like it might, it might draw, draw people in. I hope so.